Hello and welcome to my kitchen. We are here another day for another easy, tasty, fast recipe. And today is the turn for favada or bean stew. And this is very easy and really good for a day like this, which is rainy, cold. The way that we prepare it is very easy. We first add the beans. I add two tins of cannellini beans because I'm going to freeze it. So I have for a couple of days. Then we're going to add a bay leaf. Yeah, I know it's gigantic, but you put it uh, one bay leaf. And then we add the onions cut in chunks and also garlic holes, whole garlic. So all goes in there and we're going to cover it with water. I'm putting about half a litre of water, more or less, like that. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of sweet paprika. You will have to remember this is usually prepared with lots of different meats, which I'm not going to use because I don't eat meat anymore. So the spices of the chorizo are really sweet paprika and spicy hot paprika. And that's basically what it gives the, the taste. And that's what we are using. One tablespoon of sweet paprika. And just to give you a bit of a kick, I'm going to use hot paprika. Uh, and I'm going to add a little bit because I don't want it to be so hot that I will not be able to eat it. And I we just mix it up. And we're going to add a little bit of salt to give you a bit of flavor. Some people may add potatoes. I don't. Uh, this is very tasty the way it is. And what we do next is we put on the heat, we let it boil, and when it's boiling, we then reduce the heat to medium and we let it simmer. Oh, and I was forgetting, you want to add a little bit of olive oil just to give it an extra fat, just a little bit like that. We mix it and we let it go. Now it's simmering, but what my mum used to do was to get the, a few beans and mash them like that. See? And what will this do? We'll make the stew thicken naturally instead of using corn flour. So you just pick a few of them, mash them, and that will make it thicken lovely way of making it thicken. And if you want to, you can add a vegetable stock, but that's completely up to you. Let's wait, for, let's cover it and wait for it to. So this is what it looks like after 25 minutes, half an hour cooking. It doesn't need long because the beans are already pre-cooked and there's no meat in the stew or potatoes. So it's quite, quite a quick one. So I'm going to turn off the heat, give it a bit of a stir. You can see it's really lovely. Mm, it smells so nice. If you have a bit of saffron, you can put a bit of saffron in it as well. Um, other than that, it is perfect for a winter's day, winter's night, a cozy night in. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. Let me show you, just like that. Can you see? It's really nice, really nice. And if it doesn't thicken for you, you know, just add some corn flour and that will make it thicken. If you like this recipe, please give us a thumbs up Give us a like, share with your friends, share it with the family. More important, uh, more importantly, cook it and tell us what you think about it. 
uh, subscribe to our channel we get three videos every week and please share the love for food um, all around we'll see you on the next video thank you bye